This video is sponsored by DistroKid. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few of the ways I've found to easily record your own music at home and still have it sound great. And we're gonna talk about an easy way to distribute your music online so anyone all over the world can hear it. Hey everyone, Eric here. Welcome to my channel where I make gear demos and instructional videos like this one aimed to help musicians like you. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below, how do you record your music? Do you record at home or do you have a studio? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Recording your own music nowadays is easier than ever. And once you have your music recorded, it's easier than ever to get your music out into the world for anyone all over the globe to hear. And that's gonna tie into today's sponsor of this video, DistroKid. Now DistroKid is an online service that lets you upload your own original music and they distribute it to online retailers like your iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, all the streaming services. It's incredibly simple and it lets you get your music out into the world. DistroKid has been gracious enough to offer you, my viewers, a discount. So if you go to the link I'm gonna put it right here. It's also gonna be in the description of this video. If you hit that link, you can go over to DistroKid, get that discount, and then you can upload your own original music and get it distributed to Apple Music, Spotify, all those great services. And if you do that, please, please, please follow me on Instagram and tag me because I would love to hear your band's music that you uploaded. So ways to record your own music and still have it sound great at home. Now, all of these methods are gonna center around pretty much silent recording options because that's what I need to do. I'm in an apartment right here, so I can't make a whole bunch of noise. All of these methods are gonna center around one piece of equipment and that is our audio interface. This is my first audio interface, it's a FirePod. What audio interfaces are is it gives you a combo mic and uh, XLR jack and then you use some sort of digital connection. Nowadays it's USB, this is an older one so it's actually a FireWire 400. But all of these methods are going to center around using an audio interface with your computer. Now the first method we're gonna talk about is just plugging your guitar straight into the interface. If you're on a Mac, you already have GarageBand and that's what I recommend. And that's actually what I use to record all my music. And then you can use GarageBand to add emulation of different amps and even speaker cabinets. You can change mic placement and you can even add effects pedals onto your signal. So let's say you actually have some effects pedals. You might have a pedal board that you use in, with an amp and you still wanna record silently. The next thing that I recommend, stepping up from just plugging straight into the, the interface, is using some like a speaker simulator of some sort, like the Cabzeus Mono or the Cabzeus, both of which I have videos for if you wanna check out right up here. What this does is it takes your signal and applies a filter to emulate different speakers and different cabinets. Now with the Cabzeus Mono, you have a little screen right here that lets you know the different types of models that you have. And then you can change from like open back or close back, 12 inch or 10 inch speakers. The Cabzeus, the full Cabzeus has the same features, but it doesn't have the screen. So it's preset based, still simple. Both sound incredible. There are a whole bunch of other types of the same product out on the market. Uh, I'm gonna leave links below to all of the gear that I talked about in this video. So let's see how plugging your pedal board into the Cab Zeus sounds.
The next method we're gonna talk about is using an amp with a speaker simulated line out. Now, I'm using the Boss Katana, which has a record out that I can feed directly into my interface, and I can use all the amp's controls. So the EQ, even the effects that are built into the amp, I can use in that signal. Or I can just run a pedal board into the front of it and then get all my pedal tones into the amp and then into the, the interface really easily. So I've crouched down here to talk about the last method I wanted to go over, and that is using uh, an attenuator or reactive load to load down an amp and then run a line out out of that. Now that probably sounds like a lot of gibberish, right? <laughs> so what it does, so this is the Universal Audio Aux, and I've actually made a video about this if you want to click up here. <laughs> it's a reactive load. So what it does, I plug the speaker output of this 100 watt uh, Rocket Retro Plexi replica. It's a super lead. I plug the, the speaker out into the aux and then the aux lets the amp know, okay, you can operate as you want. You don't have to blow up. So I've got 100 watts running into the aux right here. And what the aux does is it loads it down and I, I can send a, a signal out to a speaker, but I'm not doing that. I'm just sending a line out a quarter inch into my interface. And what the aux has, it has software inside that models different speakers and different cabinets and different mics. So there's an app that goes with it too that I can change all these different things and it's got presets, it's got like a rig knob right here. I can add like room ambience. But this lets you use any amp. So I've got a Fender Excelsior down here too, which is a, a smaller amp that I could run into the aux. Any tube amp that you want, you can run into the aux. So this sort of gives you the best of both worlds. You're using your tube amp and a pedal board in front of it or the effects loop, whatever you have set up. It lets you use your amp with a reactive load to get that direct signal. You don't have to make any noise and you still get high quality sounds. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite method that we talked about in this video? And also, how do you record your guitar sounds at home? And do you record at home? Do you have a studio? Also, I wanna send a huge thank to DistroKid for sponsoring this video and giving you that great discount. And if you do, hit the link in the description below. If you sign up for your own DistroKid account and you upload your music, please, please, Follow me on Instagram and tag me because I would love to hear the music that you uploaded because of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below also if you have any questions or if you wanna learn anything more about the recording process, the video, filming, like pedal demo process, whatever you wanna learn, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, have a good one.